Hello, my name is Russell Schloop and I'm doing a video for Advanced Database Structures. And this video is on NoSQL Database CouchDB, the database that has said to us has died apparently. Well, right now they're trying to make a comeback. And just recently, in July 13th, um, they it turned 1.0, the post-relational database CouchDB. Um, they, the new 1.0 is going to be called Kushio, and they boast that this speeds up to 300% more than uh, 0.11.0. In a, the post-relational database, um, it apparently will, uh, in addition to its increased speeds, will have support for Microsoft Windows, an authentication system, and replicator options for flexibility. Um, we were talking about NoSQL databases like CouchDB because we have the book for it in this class, but they don't teach it anymore. But apparently it was, sadly, before it was seemed doomed, but it might still be, who knows. But apparently the new IM client Mebo is starting to move toward CouchDB instead of using SQL for solutions because it needs something more NoSQL-like with less relational databases that way they can hurry up and get things done faster because it's instant messaging. Since 2008 apparently Mebo has been using CouchDB and they're thrilled to hear about the new 1.0. Um, apparently DBC is trying to build a content management system using the new CouchDB QCO. Another advantage to using it is apparently the new CouchDB is, has offline access is designed for disconnected use. So like if you're using it, it will still store data or if you're on your phone, it will store data on your phone and then it will finally at the end push it up to like a SQL database. Which means it can be used offline or just say on your as an application before pushing up to the uh, the main database. Some web developers are calling it for support for HTML5 and uh, for offline storage and is SQL ready. Others are already building portable couch apps using CouchDB and HTML5. That way they can get applications done for, like I said, tablets and phones that may be like connected, not be connected to a network at all times. It might be out in the woods, but they can still store data and when they actually do get connected, they will push up. Um, its competitor is VoltDB for scalability and SQLite for offline use. And other notable NoSQL projects are uh, Cassandra and Mongo. As you see, Mongo is taking over. But CouchDB is trying its hardest to make a comeback with its offline use. And that's my video for this assignment.